In this video, we will discuss the problem smallest greater elements in whole array. So basically the problem says that you will be given an array which will be of uh, length n. So total n elements will be present in the array. And what you need to do is you need to calculate the next greater element for each element in the given array, right? So for each element, you want to find its next greater element. So if the next greater element of a particular element is not available, in that case, you need to fill that particular position uh, index with the value minus 10 to the power 7, right? So let's try and quickly discuss this case. That is if I have 13 and then 6, 7 and 12. So what I can say is that uh, for this particular very first element, right? For this particular very first element that is 13, uh, it, since it is the largest element, so it will have no other element, right? So that's why I need to fill minus 10 to the power 7 in this particular position. Now for the element 6, what is the next greater element for 6? It is nothing but 7, right? Because uh, out of, uh, for 6, uh, the greater elements are 7, 12 and 13. So the next greater element is nothing but 7. Now for 7, uh, the greater elements are 12 and 13. Now which is the next greater element? It is nothing but 12, right? So that's why I'll write 12. For 12, what is the greater element? So it's just 13, right? So I'll write 13. So that's how it will get updated like minus 10, minus 10 to the power 7, 7 and then uh, 12 and 13. You can see in this case as well, like uh, minus 10 to the power 7, then 7, then uh, 12 and then 13, right? Let's try and see if there is another case. So in this case also, you can observe that for 6, I have 7, like because 7 is the next greater element. For 3, I have uh, 6, right, because uh, 4 and 5 are not present. For 9, I have 10, because immediately the element is present. For 8, I have 9. For 10, I do not have 11, I do not have 12, I do not have 13, I do not have 14, but I have 15, so I'll write 15, right. Then similarly for 2, I have 3, for 1, I have 2. Then for 15, since it is the largest element, so I'll write minus 10 to the power, minus 10 to the power 7. And for 7, I have the immediate element as 8, right? So this is how I'm doing it. Now, the naive approach to do this could be that suppose that you are at your current index i, right? So what you do is you run a loop, j starts from 0, right? And j is lesser than n probably, right? And what you do is you iterate through the loop for a particular element, you iterate through the whole array and you try to find that, okay, what is the next, what is the immediate greater element, right? But in that case, that is going to cost a lot, right? So the more optimal approach could be using the concept of set. Now, why using a set and why not using a kind of priority queue structure? Because uh, in set, the advantage is that it can give you the next greater element, right? Let's suppose that I insert all the elements in the set, right? If I insert all the elements in the set, right? So what can, uh, how it can help me? So for so, uh, inserting one element in a set, it takes log n time, right? For inserting one element. And if I'm inserting all the n elements, so it will take kind of n log n time, right? Overall. Now, how does a set help me? Because suppose that uh, in the set, you know that a set helps me to store the data, store the elements in the sorted order, right? And how does that help me? Because for a particular element, let's say uh, for a particular element 7, I want a, the next immediate greater element, right? That is for 7, I want 12. I will see 8 is present, 9 is present, 10 is present, 11 is present, no, 12 is present, right? So I do not have to consider those things. I can directly in the set, if I if I do this thing, if I'm at the current element 7, if I'm at the ith element, so what I can do is I can find the ith element in the set and it will give me this position, right? Let's suppose that the iterator or the iterator gives me this particular index, that is it gives me this particular index 7. If I apply the find function, and I find set here, uh, 7 here in the set. So what I can do is if I do it++, right? If I do it++, so it will immediately move to the, this index, right? It will immediately move to the next element. And I, I can do star of it++ and it will give me what? It will give me the immediate greater element, right? So that's how the set is going to help me. Apart from this, like there can be one case, like let's say if I have to find for this particular element, right? So suppose first of all, I have inserted all the elements in the set. Now I'm iterating from the first element. So for this element 13, it will be here, right? So it will point here. Now when I do it++, so it moves out of bound, right? So it moves to the end of the set, right? It moves to the end of the set. And the moment it moves to the end of set, so I can say that there is no greater element present for 13. So if the uh, if I do it++ and it moves to the end of the set, in that case, what I'll do is I'll uh, put the value minus 10 to the power 7 at that particular index, right? Now, let's suppose I'm at 7, so I'll use the find function, right? I'll use s dot find the current element a of i or a r of i, right? And I'll find this element 6. Once I find it, so I'll say that, okay, iterator is pointing to this particular element. Now, how do I get uh, the next element? So I'll do simply it++ and I'll get to this particular element 7 and I'll store it here, right? Now, once I'm at 7, so my current element will be 7 and I'm searching for it. So I'll apply the find uh, function again. And what I'll get is, I'll get my iterator to this and I'll do it++, so I'll get to this particular uh, uh, element that is 12. 
and I'll store 12 at this particular index. Now, right. Now, what will happen? I'll be at this element 12. Once I'm at this element 12, so I'll apply again the s dot find function. Uh, it uh, the find function in the set takes nothing but log n time to search, right? So that's also an advantage. So for n elements, uh, for one element, it's gonna take log n time. So for n elements, it's gonna take for one element, it will take log n time. So for n elements, it will take n log n time, right? Now, if I'm at 12, so it will point it to will point to this and it plus plus I'll do so I'll get the element 13, right? So that's how I'm going to get uh, this thing updated in my array. Let's quickly try and write the code for this particular problem. So what I would be doing is what I would be doing is simply declare a set, right? So let's say I'll declare a set, let's say int st, right? And once I've declared a set, so what I'll do is first of all, I'll insert all the elements into the set and this is going to take nothing but for one element, it's going to take log n time kind of. So for overall n elements, it will take n log n time, right? So in the set, I'll insert all the elements. So I'll say uh, st dot insert nothing but a r r of i, right? Once I've inserted all the elements into the set, so what I'll do is I'll start iterating. So I start from zero, i is lesser than n, i plus plus. Suppose that I'm at the current ith element, right? So what I'll do is I'll say that, okay, auto it my iterated way point so i'll find this particular element in the set so i'll say st dot find i'll use st uh, find function st dot find nothing but error of i so i'll find the ith function in the set right so iterator will give me then i'll do it plus plus to move to the next element now as i told you that i need to check if my uh, if my iterator is pointing to the end or not if my iterator is pointing to the end so that means that the i'm at the largest element and that means that, that there is no next element present right so if my iterator is not pointing to the end if it does not equal to uh, st dot n right if it is not equal to the set dot n in that case i can say that okay then for the current element ar of i the next greater element is present right so that's why i can do what rr of i is equal to nothing but star of it right that's how i get the element by doing the star else what i'll do is else i can see that let's say for the element 13 it is the largest element and i find it in the set but after this i do it plus plus so i get out of bound in the set so that means i reach the set dot n so in that case there is no greater element present so i'll say that okay rfi uh, is equal to nothing but minus 10 to the power 7 right so minus then 1 uh, then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right so this is what i will do after this, in the end, uh, you can see the return type is nothing but an array. In star means an array. So what I'll do is, I'll simply return AR, right? So that's how uh, it, it is going to work. Let's try and compile this particular question and see whether we are getting the same expected output or not. So you can see that we are getting the same output. Let's try and submit it. Hopefully it will get accepted. So you can see that the question has passed all the uh, 300 test cases and this is how you do it. And the overall time complexity for this particular question, the time complexity is going to be n log n, right? And since we are using a set, so the space complexity is going to be order of n. Thank you.